okay today we will try to understand the block diagram of tms 320 c67 cross dsp processors this is this block diagram is given on page number 24 in the pdf file that i have shared with you and in this block diagram we can see various blocks here which are so i will zoom in and the first block that i am pointing to right now is program cache or program memory that is nothing but 32 bit address 256 bit uh, data now this 256 block is divided into eight simultaneous instructions that are fetch in one go or in one cycle through this fetch unit so there is a cpu over here that will perform this operation before we go into the details of the cpu we will try, uh, we will see other things also this is another important part of uh, this uh, particular uh, 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 dsp processor that is Uh, data memory and that is 32 bit address and with uh, different 8 bit 16 bit and 32 bit data okay and that is connected to cpu via these two available da1 and da2 paths which are multiplexed uh, in a way that we will see later uh, to the cpu and uh, uh, now this is the memory that is the program memory here and this uh, data memory here which are available on this chip itself but one can connect the external memory also through direct memory access controller or external memory interface so this unit is uh doing the uh, connection or you can say they providing the connection to external memory that can be connected so that is also required so if you want to connect a data from the external memory then this is the path and if it is program then it is going through this path so this dma and emf emif provides the connection to both the blocks program as well as data and uh, now we will see apart from this important peripheral that are dma and uh, emif that is direct memory access unit and external memory interface unit we can have optional uh, peripherals that can be uh, available in various variants of these dsp processors so they are they are optional so depending upon the situation they are available so depending upon the application you need to select that which ports are available for example serial port and timers and additional peripherals okay so these are the these are the all uh, main blocks so we will come to this now central block that is called cpu c6000 cpu central processing unit and central processing unit is connected with one more additional block that is uh, power down management or power down uh, instructions so inside the cpu you can see that this program fetch as i told you that it connects to this program cache memory and it fetches the instruction eight instruction simultaneously in one go and then this instruction dispatch and instruction decode takes place inside this cpu now in this cpu the main important thing is there are two pairs of register path or data path that is one is i will zoom in over here data path a and another is data path b so data path a has register file a there are 16 registers a02 a15 here 
and another path that is data path B has another 16 registers that is B02, B15 here. These registers are connected to four different units in each path. So these are L, S, M and D. L, S, M and D. Similarly over here the register B is also connected to L, S, M and D. Okay. And now they have some specific uh, 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 functions and uh, each of these uh, this, uh, unit they, that is called one unit. So there are eight units, four units over here and four units over here and they are connected to this data memory through some D1 and D2 registers uh, through DA1 and DA2 logics and they, these two uh, logics are multiplexed logics. So you can access to these uh, available results as a data and you can uh, store the data and load the data through these uh, units. Okay. So and inside the CPU you have some more registers. So see this uh, path A and path B or register file A and register file B are general purpose registers. Uh, used for performing various operations whereas there are some special purpose registers they are called control registers control units test emulation and interrupt emulation and interrupt are connected to external world and similarly these peripherals as that we have seen so this is a brief about the uh, functional diagram of DSP processors okay thank you very much